In this video, I am going to explain about token ring and token passing. First, let us see what is token ring. A token ring network is a local area network in which all computers are connected in a ring topology. In the previous video, I have explained medium access method in Ethernet that is CSMA by CD. The problem with CSMA by CD is collisions may occur when two or more stations transmitting the data at the same time. To avoid collisions, in token ring network, we use token passing access method. So, topology used in token ring is a ring topology and medium access method used in token ring is token passing. Now, let us see how token passing access method works and how it avoids collisions. In token passing access method, a special 3 byte frame called token is used. That token travels along the ring through all the stations. If any station wants to send the data, then it should hold the token. At a time, only one station can hold the token and can transmit the data. If any station does not want to send the data, then it will simply passes the token to the next station. Passing the token means receiving the token from the preceding station and transmitting the token to the successor station. In token ring, the data flow is unidirectional that is in the direction of the token passing. The data cannot flow in both the directions. Okay, So, in token passing access method, if a station wants to transmit the data, it should hold the token which is traveling along the ring. It should check whether the token is empty or not. If the token is empty, then it can hold the token. Here, station D wants to send the data. So, it should hold the token. Then, the station D inserts message and destination address A in the empty token. Then, the token travels along the ring through all the stations. The token is examined by each successive station to check whether that particular message is intended for that station or not. When that token is received by the actual destination A, then the destination node A copies the message data and adds a data receipt message to the token and passes that data receipt message token to the next node. Finally, the source D receives the returned token and verifies the token and empties the token. Here, D is the source. So, when token is received by D, then it empties the token. The empty token now changes to the circulation mode. Then, the above process continues. Several problems may occur during the transmission of token in token passing access method. In one scenario, a station which have received the token may neglect to retransmit the token to the next station. Here if you observe, station D received the token but it is not forwarding the token. Here the token is lost. In some cases, token may be destroyed by the noise. Here if you observe, the token is destroyed in between the stations C and D. In the above two cases, there is no token on the ring. So, stations on the network cannot hold the token. So, they cannot transmit the data. To handle this situation, one station on the ring is designated as the monitor station. The monitor station sets a timer to the token which passes through it. If the token does not return to the monitor station within the allotted time, then the token assume it to be lost. That is, for example, if the monitor station D encounters a token, then it adds a timer of 60 seconds to the token. Because we assumed that any token takes maximum of 60 seconds to complete the cycle. 
within that time token should be back otherwise d assumes that the token is lost here if you observe the token is lost in between stations a and b so monitor station d waits for 60 seconds for the token if the token is not returned back within 60 seconds to the station d then station d assumes that the token is lost and it will generate a new token and it introduces that new token to the ring and the next problem is let us assume that station b wants to send the data to station e so station b holds the token and it transfers the data and a destination address e to the next station when e receives the token it copies the data and it transfers the data received message to the next node when this information is read by the station b now station b should empty the token but if b neglect to remove its data then that token is traveling around the ring which is of no use to solve this problem a station in the network is considered as a monitor station here we assume that station d is the monitor station when any frame passes through the station d then it sets the status bit to the token for example here if you observe station b wants to send the data to station e so station b holds the token and it transfers the data and the destination address e to the next station when that token passes through the station d it sets a status bit to 1 and now this token is passed to the next station when e receives the token it copies the data and it transfers the data received message to the next station when this information is read by the station b now b should empty the token but if b neglects to remove its data then that token is traveling around the ring which is of no use so when that frame reaches the monitor station then monitor station verifies the status bit it finds that the status bit is set from this it identifies that the frame has already passed through the monitor station that is it completed a round through the ring so it discards the frame and it puts a new token onto the ring in this way it solves this problem